Hello from the Crystal Coast. This is Pastor Kevin, and it's Wednesday, June the 17th. I wanted to share with you some thoughts from 1 Thessalonians chapter 3 today. The Apostle Paul is writing to believers uh, whom he had said had received God's word in much affliction. In other words, it wasn't easy for them to embrace the message about Jesus. And so he writes, and he's very concerned for them. And here's what he says. Therefore, when we could bear it no longer, we were willing to be left behind at Athens alone. And we sent Timothy, our brother, and God's co-worker in the gospel of Christ, to establish and exhort you in your faith, that no one be moved by these afflictions. For you yourselves know that we are destined for this. Uh, just a couple of thoughts uh, to encourage you today. Uh, the first one is this, just to be grateful for the people in your life who are willing to sacrifice, they're willing to be inconvenienced in order to help you and to be a blessing and encouragement to you. If you've got those kind of people in your life, you really ought to be grateful to God for that. Second, be grateful for the God, uh, for the people that God brings into your life to help establish you in your faith and exhort you to grow in your faith. If you've got folks like that who come alongside you and encourage you uh, in your devotion to Jesus, then again, be, be grateful to God for those kinds of folks. The third note I, I get from these verses is this, to don't, don't be surprised don't be, and don't be discouraged by the trouble that inflicts distress in your life, uh, in this broken world. That's simply part of God's design for us. It, 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 it's part of what God uses to develop the character of Christ in us and to display his glory to us. So don't be, don't be surprised when, um, when you're in the midst of, of, of troubles in this life. And then, and finally, my encouragement today is to the, is this, to be a Paul or a Timothy uh, for someone else, to reach out, to sacrifice for others, to um, go the extra mile to help establish and exhort others in their faith in, uh, in Jesus. Um, so let me pray for you today. Father, I thank you that, that you're a God who knows uh, the trouble that we experience in this life. In fact, you have a purpose for all of those troubles, that you're using them to display your glory to us and to develop more of the character of Christ in us. So help us, Father, to not be discouraged by, uh, by those troubles, to not be surprised when they, when they come. Uh, make us the kind of people, Lord, as we respond to you, who, who will willingly sacrifice for others and come alongside others and be an encouragement and blessing to them as, they, as we can help them grow in their faith. We're so very grateful for those kinds of folks that you've brought into our lives, uh, even today. And so we, we thank you for all that. Lord, we want to represent you well. And, uh, and we know that that's possible uh, because of Jesus. And it's in his name we pray. Amen. Well, I hope you can join us tonight for our uh, Zoom prayer gathering at 6 p.m. I've got another special guest lined up to interview that I know is going to be a great encouragement uh, to you. I, I've uh, been informed that we've got about 20 of those baby bottles that we've been uh, distributing over the last few weeks since Mother's Day for uh, supporting the Coastal Pregnancy Care Center. If you haven't picked one up, can I encourage you to do that this Sunday? They'll be available at the Community Impact Team, uh, their table. Um, if you have already picked one up, thank you for doing that. And uh, please make sure that you drop those off uh, this week uh, when, you come for, uh, when you come for service that we're very excited about. And in the meantime, let me just say thank you so much for the ways that you continue 
to love our community like never before.